All right, Ben Parker of CardinalSportsReport.com here with Stanford cornerback Zarin Manley. Uh, so first of all, from a defensive back perspective, what was what went well against uh, the Orange on, on Friday night? Syracuse, yeah. Um, overall, we played physical. Um, we played a lot of bump and run coverage, a lot of press man, just got in their faces. Um, they have a good group, um, but we kind of trusted our technique. And once the ball was in the air and we had an opportunity to make a play, I think overall we did a good job. Yeah, too. Just uh, kind of what was kind of the key to your resilience as a defense to bounce back from a couple of large touchdowns that they did score? Yeah, no, I mean, they scored a touchdown, a couple touchdowns, a couple big plays um, that kind of caused a momentum swing. And it's kind of tough as a defense to face that adversity. But I think that's just a testament to our culture and our room. Like, you know, I gave up a play um, on that touchdown. But just coming back and kind of just not letting that get to your confidence. Um, going back to the game plan, trusting the coaching, trusting the kind of on-field uh, adjustments and kind of going from there. But it was tough um, in those moments, but I think our resilience as a secondary is kind of what helped us do that. You guys have done a better job as a secondary this year of giving interceptions. Mitch got the pick six. Yeah. Jay Green got a pick as well. He's had a couple this year. Yeah. What, what do you think is accounted for that? I think just continuity with the defense, understanding our drops, understanding our landmarks where we need to get as a defense, and it just allows us to play faster. I think we have a lot of trust with one another from the from the safeties to the corners and uh, also just a testament to our, our, our coaching staff, just putting us in a position to make a lot of plays and, and get our hands on a lot of balls. Yeah, just kind of kind of in general too, just uh, what is the excitement level going into this week this weekend's game? Uh, it seems like a lot of guys have been pumped about the Clemson game. Yeah. Um, honestly, just playing physical. It's a physical team, a well-coached team, um, and we're going into a hostile environment. So more than anything, our, our technique is very important. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what field we play on, where we're playing, who we're playing. Um, we have to, you know, hit our gaps. We have to, you know, execute the calls, just do our job, and I think we'll be in a good position. Yeah, so you just talk about uh, man managing the flight a lot. A lot of, that's obviously a major topic of conversation, but how, how big of a challenge has that been? Or has it not been as big of a challenge as maybe people have said it is? It's not a challenge. I mean, we, we travel places every year, so I think it's just different because we're leaving on, like, a day earlier than we usually do, but... I mean, they take care of us. We, we, we're in a nice plane. We get fed well. Um, we have plenty of resources, so it's really no issue. Cool. Um, also, to just uh, talk about as well, um, Coach Williams, what's he been most kind of emphasizing with the cornerback group through the first three games of the season here? Uh, technique and execution. I think, you know, the plays that we have given up, those have been the issues. I think we have all the talent in the world as a secondary. We, you know, we can play at a really high level. I think the moments we get in trouble are when our technique lapses, um, you know, when we bust the coverage, things like that. Just the small, minute details of the position, we need to hone in and focus on consistently. And it shows when we do those things, good things happen, we make plays. Um, but, you know, I think every game there's been a moment where we haven't been as sharp as we needed to be, and that, that's when they capitalize. So going forward in the season, that's kind of what he's emphasizing. You know, just do your job. It's a very, it's a platitude in football. It's, it's a very generic statement, but it, it means so much just to, you know, do your job, execute, trust your technique, and good things will happen. What was the reaction you guys had, you had to uh, Mitch's uh, pick six? Oh, that's, that's what Mitch does. He's a very talented player, and that was his first pick. And to house his first pick is really dope. Um, so, yeah, I was super happy for him, and, yeah. And then uh, just kind of in general, kind of how, how fun was it to pick up that win that, at Syracuse oh, yeah. and just the environment there, yeah. Oh, I mean, first of all, the environment was really dope. It was a cool stadium, really loud. Um, but I think as a team, to get that win um, in that environment was huge for us, for our, our confidence moving forward. I think, you know, we put in so much time this off season and kind of just thinking about our, our, our big goals as a team, what we want to be, what we want this program to be. So I think that win was kind of the first step uh, towards that. Sweet. Um, and then for you, just kind of academically speaking, kind of how are things going there? Obviously, you're a fifth-year guy, so are you pretty light course load or just kind of what's kind of the objective there right now? Yeah, It's a light course load. I'm, I'm kind of just focused on football. I graduated. I, I got my degree. Right. So um, right now, just taking classes that I find interesting, trying to meet people. But academically, that, that part's kind of kind of over with. Sweet. Any class that you're taking that's, that you're that – you're enjoying that maybe you wouldn't have had the chance to take before yeah uh it's the it's the first week so i'm still like shopping courses um but um there's some african-american uh classes that i'm taking just learning about black history and fashion that uh seems to be interesting so we'll see how that goes sweet um and then uh you know kind of kind of final final question for you um just kind of thoughts on uh uh colin wright and and you and your kind of your, the chemistry you guys have obviously opposite sides of the field but just 
thoughts on his growth as a corner from opposite side of the field from you, yeah. Yeah, Colin, um, very talented player. Like, since I've, I've come in, he, he's, you know, definitely stood out, um, definitely takes his job very seriously, um, very mature player. So it's been cool just to see his growth, uh, picking up things from one another. I learn a lot from him, and just the way he sees the game is, you know, at a very high level. So um, I think the sky's the limit for him. I, I enjoy watching him play. I enjoy watching his growth. And um, he just continues to get better, which is really exciting. Perfect. Thanks so much, Zon, for taking the time. And good luck this weekend against the Tigers. All right, thank you.